guys welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you how to cut how to sew your princess that how to interface and how to sew your princess that so if you are just new to my channel please don't forget to like comment so how to put your interfacing on your princess that and also how to sew it so i've dropped a video on how to cut the princess that and i hope you go to the link down below to watch it this is very detailed and that's the way i've been cutting it except if the difference of using minus in two and a half or two inches from the underboss so i will be using my soft pad as you can see soft padded you buy a yard 350 400 depends, it depends on the area you have so you are going to be using also your paper stay i'll be putting paper stay on the ankara while i'll be putting the soft pad so while you'll be putting your soft padded on your ankara fabric so i'll be showing you now firstly what i'm going to be doing i've cut in the video i drop i only use paper to illustrate the princess that so i've cut it using the lining and the ankara you can use your line you can use your taffeta it depends on how but my lining has a good quality because i also sell celery material so i'm using my lining so now firstly i'm going to cut so firstly i'm going to be cutting the neckline which i use three so which i use three inches three and a half by by three and a half you can see the way i use it i use three and a half by three and a half i want the line to be so close so this is it i'm going to be cutting the neckline out so after i'll open it put my paper stay on my princess that this is the side i'm going to put the paper stay on the princess that the paper the paper stay has two sides the other side is like a sand it's somehow is rough but the other one is plain so you just put your paper stay on it putting the paper stay is just for you to make it firm and even to bring out more firmness and cup to bring the cup of the clothes of the normal material when you sew it to bring the cupness and the fitness to fit and balance very well at the next side too so i normally use paper stay if you don't want to use, make use of paper stay you can make use of stay and SD is 400, 500, depending on your area. You can make use of SD or you make use of soft paper, uh, soft gum stay, which is BFF. So I've ironed it now, which I've put the paper stay, as you can see. So this is the center back, which I'll open the zip allowance. I'll open the zip allowance. And trim out the half inch bulge I was talking about in the video. This bulge does not affect all clothes, it's not all clothes that it affects. You understand? But it's just good for you to remove the bulge, just good for you to remove the bulge. So after I'll cut the neckline and I'll be putting the paper stay only on the next side, only on the next side of the back. But if you like, you can make it full also. Sometimes I make it full, but this one is just the clothes for practical. So you can make it full. For the back side, I'll be reducing it by one and a half inches and curve it down from the next side, from the wideness downward. And I'll curve it. I see. So I'll be putting the paper stay on the next side this way. I see it. I see it. So I've put the paper, the paper stay at the neck of your back. Putting paper stay at the neck, at your neckline or any kind of interfacing is just to make the neck relax. Are you getting me? It's just for you to make your neckline relax. Are you seeing it? So I've put the paper stay on the neckline, and now what I'm going to be doing is putting the soft pad. I'm used to soft padded and my boss taught me with soft padded for for my princess that you can use i've tested the medium 
part so it's okay but with this my soft part you are good to go so very very perfect so i'm going to be using the full of the soft part and um, if you are putting your soft padded you don't need to place this down like this you don't need to when you place this down and you put your soft padded on it you will notice it won't gum perfectly you understand when you do it like this and put put um iron you just did it they sleep it won't gum very well you understand what i'm saying it won't gum perfectly when you open it it's still the same and the iron is hot the iron is still hot even though it's a steaming iron still hot but it won't gum perfectly you see so just take your time make sure when you are putting your uh, padded on the clothes you place the padded this way that is the way i do or actually i would rather take this cut it out and place it on it or just do it this way if there's another way you do manage yours you can let me know but this is the way i do mine you understand when i do it this way i'll hold the iron then place it on it not so much at first just to hold it down just to hold the gum down then after i will take my scissors and cut it out you can see i put the pad full pad because it's soft one, so I don't normally put it halfway. It's soft. It's, there's nothing there. With this soft part, even if I just use the uh, paper stay alone, it will still be fair. Paper stay, paper stay, it will still be fair. It depends on your cutting. What actually bring your cup out is the way you cut your any cutting, even if it is padded. But after this princess that's cutting, I'm going to be showing you how to make your straight pad too. So let's get back. Let's get to the table and I'll show you. Ah, let's get to the machine. So I will show you how to join it together and how firm it is after joining so you on your machine my machine is on already i'm going to be putting the two sides together i see it then you sew you can see the way i make sure this is this one is close to this you move your hand gently. Why? Because one is more curvy than the other. Are you getting it? You move your hand gently. 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 Okay. I see. So. So that's the first one. So I'm going to join the second one. You do what you did there, you do it to the other side. This is the first one. Mm -hmm. I see. It. So after this, I'm going to sew the sides, the back. I'll sew it the same way. 
I saw that the same way. So this is the way you join the back. I put the center piece and the back and the side piece together. You just control your hand. It doesn't matter whether you are using an industrial machine or the black head or any other white head machine. Just continue moving it. It's just as simple as that. You join with half inch. Nice and nice. So you join the both sides. Then you can see the way it relax. You can see the way it is. All you need to do is to open press and iron. You understand? Then you turn the next side. So it's very easy, very simple to sew. There's no any technical thing there. You do the same to the other side. You hold it like this. The back and the and the side, yeah, the center piece and the side piece. So you stitch. You move. Nice and nice. You know, I told you yesterday that if it, if it is more than each other, you can see how firm it is when you are cutting it. The hand pitch. I told you that yesterday. Ah, I told you that when I was cutting it, that I added inches. You should add inches to your uh, side pieces so that the side will reach the the center, the armhole side. You can see now. Assuming I did not put that one and a half inches, this side may stop here. You understand? It will, and it will affect the armhole curve. When you are covering it, it will affect it. So just imagine when this thing is here and you want to cover your armhole. It will make your armhole go in much. I want to turn the neckline. And another thing is that there are some factors you need to consider when you are turning your neckline. Don't make the inches to be too much and don't let it to be too small. So you are going to be using like three quarter, like an, a quarter inch, like just this. You understand? Because if you let it to be too small, when they wash the neck, if you wash away, it can tear. It can easily tear from the neck line or open. So you just have to take caution when you sew your neck around. And also, you always remember to notch your method. Remember to notch. Your notching is to make your neckline relax. Then, after you notch, what you are going to do is stop stitching. I noticed that some, some they normally put their padded, their wordy on their Ankara. Why I won't advise you to put your wordy on your Ankara is that when you put it on your Ankara, it will be coming out. It will be floating out at the next, next side. Instead of relaxing, when you put your padded, your wordy on your um, lining, it will shut in immediately when you turn the neck and top stitch. So, so this is what they call top stitching. So I'm tostishing this neckline, as you can see. I'm tostishing it to make it relax. It doesn't matter that when you don't tostish your neckline, it's very relaxed. When you have iron, you can leave it like that. When iron is friendly, so this is it. Even with the iron, it has stuck in it immediately. So when, you, when I take it to the iron now, and I iron the next side, it will surely relax perfectly. You understand? It will surely relax perfectly. Are you seeing the core? Are you seeing the way it is? See the way it is? The way it's come out. So, I'm going to turn the side, the both side, and iron it. So here comes to the finishing of our princess that this is the back, as you can see. This is the joining. This is the way I turn the neckline. So what I'm going to do now is just to put the zipper allowance. So this is the front part 
as you can see you understand as you can see that it stand very well i think the clothes is deceiving us somehow so you can see the cup it's done don't worry when i'm through with it i'll put it on for you to see so thank you very much don't forget to continue liking comment share and uh, subscribe thank you so so 